and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. Sorry, I'm a little congested with allergies, but in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my little enjoyments, my books. This isn't my complete library, but this is enough to show you some of the types of books that I enjoy. Books to me are the lightweight to knowledge, to imagination, to so many different doorways. So anytime you have available time and you don't know what to do, I always suggest doing something that you enjoy and trying a good book. So over here, we've got my chapter books. By the way, I made these bookends here out of a notebook that I finished using all the pages. And I adhered parts of it to the bottom with um, tiny little metal brackets. So these are DIY'd. Really cute. Back to my collection over here. We've got... Girl, wash your face. Oh my gosh, if you have not read any of her books, Rachel, I love you. If you ever see this, you are one of my favorite current authors. Inspiri in sorry, inspirational. I was trying to say inspiring and inspirational at the same time. Her books are just wonderful. Wonderful books. Of course, from my previous video, you saw my Dalai Lama books. So I've got the Trio to Happiness. And then the fourth one I have here, which is my favorite, is the Book of Joy, which she does with the Archbishop Tutu. And it is wonderful. It actually makes me laugh. And then there's the... Um, Open Hearts is the K Jewelers, um, Jane Seymour collection. This is her story of what that collection is symbolizing. So if you ever buy a piece of her jewelry, you should definitely read the story behind it. Then there's the V.C. Andrews Runaway Collection. Love this series. Um... Over here we have, oops, One World, One Heart. And then, sorry about that. We have Want to Go to Boise. Now, for those of you who have been around a patient or family member with cancer, this was a popular book around the time I went through cancer as a child, and we've had it ever since. I think I've read it once. I actually need to reread it, but it is a very good book. Then there's Little Women, a classic. Love it. Confession of an Ugly Stepsister. I actually need to reread the full collection of Gregory Maguire's um, Other Side of the Story collection, like this title, because they are wonderful, and they really do kind of show you that there can be two sides to a story. Then behind that hidden is a little notebook, because I need a notebook to go with this here Sherlock Holmes puzzle book, because sometimes you need to write down notes to figure out the puzzle. My mother got me this. I'm still working on it. It is actually really fun. And then I've got, of course, my Sherlock Holmes treasury back here, which I have read, I believe, every story. And just for fun, I like to go back and reread them because you don't always remember every detail. So it's a good collection, plus my Mark Twain. Great storybook collection. I love Mark Twain from childhood. And, of course, my Disney Storyland book again from childhood really young childhood and then on the other side here is where I put more like my reference books things I can go back to for information there's the ultimate guide to sea glass I actually I found one piece of sea glass one time a long time ago and as, they're not as common as they used to be because people of course started collecting them and doing stuff with them, but it's
it's interesting to read about how sea glass is made and stuff. Then we've got the California Penal Code 2021 version. Again, I believe I've said this before. If you don't have a copy of your state penal codes, if you live in the U.S., definitely get one because as soon as you turn 21, if not 16, you're bound by these laws. So it's a good thing to kind of look through and see what exactly you're, you know, you're supposed to know, but don't always know. Then I've got a copy of the Constitution. Love our Constitution. Amen. And then behind that, we got the highly sensitive person. Now, don't think that just because you read these books that you're saying you are highly sensitive. But you know what? It's actually a good reference to know things about the highly sensitive people because you might encounter one at work, within your family, and it, these are just good reference books to teach you how to tread lightly without offending type of thing. Then there's uh, diverse teams at work, great for if you're a manager, you know, you're going to have a diverse in team members, and it's good to know how each of them might feel or think and give you a kind of an expanded mentality. And then there's uh, financial freedom. I think that's financial freedom. Financial something. Sorry, the lighting's bad. I think it's financial freedom by Dave Ramsey. Then there's the Home Edit Life, which is an organizational book. It teaches you about the color coordinating rainbow organizing method, which I love to use and I actually didn't even know this was an official method when I started using it as a teenager and when I found this book it just reconfirmed methods that I've already been doing it's like oh there's a name for it great you know and then um let me see what's over here we've got the natural cat which is um a comprehensive guide to optimum care. I have a cat myself, so I keep this. Then for health care also, this is just a notebook for one of the times I took this course. But these are my three textbooks for each time I renewed or received my first aid of CPR training. I always keep them as reference. Good to have. And then this is an exam prep book that I picked up for professionals in human resource and a book on human resource management in the hospitality industry. I got these from a thrift store online and I just wanted to briefly educate myself and eventually if I go for an HR position with the company I work for, I probably will need to pass this exam. So I just, you know, they were a thrift store buy, and I thought, why not have that extra knowledge? Because knowledge is power, information is how you get it, books are full of information. So when you have time, and when there's a topic that you really want to learn about, but maybe don't want to go to school and take exams, then just buy the book. There is nothing stopping you from reading and furthering your education without a degree. But if you want a degree or pass an exam to further your business position, that's an option too. Okay, I hope this inspires you to grab a book this year, start your own little library collection, enjoy the little things in life, and stay healthy, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.